Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to take a break from doing some of the common retouching issues uh, faced with fashion photography in particular. And I decided to do something slightly different. Um, so this tutorial is going to be about how I edit my photos in black and white. And there are so many ways to do this, like <laughs> countless ways to convert your photos to black and white in Photoshop. But this is basically just how I like to do it. There's no right or wrong way in doing it. Um, but yeah, as I said, this is just how I like to do it, how I've done it for quite a while now. And yeah, it just kind of suits my style of editing pretty well, I think. And yeah, I just want to share with you guys how I do it basically. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm converting my image to black and white is I actually convert it to black and white. <laughs> so I like to do this by using an adjustment layer and the adjustment layer I use is a gradient map so we click on that and we just click on this part here this is the actual gradient that we're going to use and I choose a black and white one so this one here and then by moving these sliders across we can change the contrast or change how much white is in the image or how much black is in the image so I just kind of move those around until I feel that it's where I want it to be. So just up that a bit more. And then once I'm happy with the levels, I press OK. All right, so we've got that adjustment layer up. And then I like to go ahead and do another adjustment layer with curves because I feel that curves adds another dimension to the image. So let's go and. OK, so. Let's just make some adjustments with curves. I tend to, this is just my style of editing, but I tend to keep the highs a little bit off, so not too bright. And also the shadows, I like to make them a little bit lighter, so a little bit grayer. And, and I'm just going to keep moving those points until I feel like it's at the level I want it to be. Okay. By mapping it out this way in curves, it actually gives it a little bit more of a film look, which I tend to go for with my black and white photos in particular. I just like the way that they turn out by doing that. So I think I'm happy with that curves layer. And this part is completely optional. I mean, you can stop right here, um, but I also like to add a color sometimes into the black and white, so it doesn't make it like a true black and white, but you know, just gives it a, something to make it a little bit different. So I usually go to adjustment layers again and I'll go to a solid color. And my favorite one, my favorite color generally to use uh, is like a deep kind of maroon color. And then press OK. And the blending mode here that I like to change it to is lighten. So it'll pick up in the shadowed areas. And then I drop the opacity right down to maybe about 30%. So as you can see, I'm just going to show you the before and after of that. That's the true black and white, and that's with the color. So the color just kind of gives it something a little bit different. I don't always do that with my black and white images, but for this one in particular, uh, when I was originally editing it, I did. And I also... Sometimes I like to finish it off with a levels adjustment layer as well. And I just kind of give it a little bit more contrast. Because it saves me going back to the curves layer and, and tampering with that when I've pretty much got it where I want it to be. Okay, so that's pretty much how I edit black and white photos. There's not too much to it. It depends on the photo. Um, sometimes I'll spend a little bit longer with curves and getting the tones right just depending on the photo. So I'll take a snapshot and the original of that photo looks like that. And here's after adding the black and white. So I'll just zoom in. Um, so yeah, that's the finished product. And that is also the end of the tutorial. It's pretty, pretty short this one, but I just wanted to share a few techniques that I use when editing black and white photos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you next